so let us uh, discuss the another topic this is called point structure of hydrogen atom in order to understand this fine structure we need to have the information about the quantum numbers we have discussed already in the previous lecture so when the spectral line of hydrogen atom was observed under the high resolution spectrometer it was observed that each spectral line was a combination of two or three lines and it is called fine structure of hydrogen atom and with this we have a new nomenclature for the energy levels and this new nomenclature is given by n 2s plus 1 and g every this alphabet has its meaning we have n l s and j we have n principal quantum number we have l orbital quantum number we have s spin quantum number we have j total quantum number the value of j is equal to l plus minus s okay so let us take an example for ground state we have for ground state the value of n is equal to 1 for ground state and for n is equal to 1 we have the value of l the value of l varies from 0 to n minus 1 and according to that formula we have n equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 why because l varies from 0 to n minus 1 we have discussed in the quantum numbers so for n equal to 1 we have l equal to 0 l equal to 0 means we have the subshell name of the subshell s for l equal to 0 since we are talking about the hydrogen atom the hydrogen atom always has only one electron for one electron system for one electron system always take s is equal to half okay so according to this formula we have received the value of n we have s we have l and now we can find out the value of j which is simply equal to l plus minus s in this formula we will use only the plus sum so the value of j is l is 0 s is half so we have j is equal to half again for n is equal to 1 we have l is equal to 0 for l is equal to 0 we have s subshell and for one electron system s the spin quantum number is equal to half don't be confused with this s and this s this s is the name of the subshell this s is the spin quantum number whose value is equal to half so let us put this formula here value of n is 1 2s plus 1 s is equal to half 2s plus 1 means 2 into half plus 1 L. For L, we have to write the value of subshell, it is S. We have to write the value of J, which is half. So, the energy level becomes 1, we can calculate it here, 2S half. This is called term value. This is called term value. We can take more examples. Let us take another example for n is equal to 2. So now for n is equal to 2, we will have two values of L from 0 to n minus 1, which is L is equal to 0, 1. 
these are the values of L. So for each value of L, we can find out the uh, term value. For L is equal to 2 and L is equal to 0, we have S sub shell and for L is equal to 0, S equal to half, we have J is equal to L plus half. 0 plus half is equal to half and nomenclature becomes again that formula n 2s plus 1 lj and equal to 2 2s plus 1 s is always half okay so always we have 2 s half this is for l equal to 0 now we have to find out the value for l equal to 1 spin quantum is half value of j is l plus minus half 1 plus half 1 minus half 3 by 2 1 by 2 so we have two term values 2 2 for l equal to 1 we have subshell p so we have 2 2 p 3 by 2 and 2 2 p 1 by 2. I think this is a little bit confusing. I can again explain for n is equal to 2. We have two values of L, 0 and 1. For each value of L, we have to take always s is equal to half. So for n is equal to 2, we can take first of all n is equal to 0. And for l equal to 0, we have s subshell, we can write s it here. And for l equal to 0, for one electron system, the spin quantum number s is half and 2s plus 1 is equal to 2. So the complete nomenclature is 2, 2s half. This half comes from this formula. Okay. Further, we have l equal to 1, s is equal to half, spin quantum number half, and j is equal to l plus minus half. For plus system we have 3 by 2, for minus system we have 1 by 2. So two values for term values 2p 3 by 2, 2p 1 by 2. We can take another example. For n is equal to 3, values of L will from 0 to n minus 1, that is 0, 1, 2. And for each n 3 l 0 s half j this plus this half okay so the term value is 3 2 for l 0 we have subshell s s half again for n is equal to 3 L is equal to 1 for which subshell is P. Spin is always half for one electron system. J is C. 1 plus half, 3 by 2. 1 minus half, 1 by 2. So term value is 3, 2, P, 3 by 2. 3, 2, P, 1 by 2. Now we have n equal to 3, n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, s again 1 by 2. So j is plus l plus s, 5 by 2, l minus s, 3 by 2, 2 minus 1 by 2, 3 by 2. So the term value is 3, 2. Okay, for L is equal to 2, we have S, P, T state. 2, sorry, D, 5 by 2, and 2, D, 3 by 2. So for L is equal to 2, we have two term values. For L is equal to 1, we have two term values. For L is equal to 0, we have one term value. All these term values correspond to n is equal to 3 value. 
So as we go on increasing the value of n, the term values go on increasing. This is all about the fine structure of the hydrogen atom. Thank you.